Truck or Treat is a lot of fun. It's been around for some time now. It's a great alternative to um, you know, going door to door if that's something that parents uh, object to or you know, if you live in a neighborhood it's not right for trick or treating. But Trunk or Treat is where you get people to decorate the actual trunks of their cars or sometimes you know, somebody's got a pickup truck and they'll uh, decorate the bed of the pickup truck. So you pick a common place to gather around, like in our case we had uh, two trunk or treat events here at uh, Maplewood Richmond Heights High School Middle School building and we did them on the parking lot on the north side of the building because you can fit a lot of cars there and we didn't know how many people were going to participate. Turns out it was a lot, it was really nice. So people uh, open the trunks of their cars, they've got decorations, but then they've also got candy in there. In our case, the incentive to come to uh, participate in trunk or treat was uh, we wanted people to bring canned goods and non-perishable food items for our food pantry, which is called Weekend on Wheels, or WOW, W-O-W. So the kids in all their costumes brought the food along, and they turned that over, and they put it in our collection barrels, and uh, that's basically the price of admission for Trunk or Treat. You get to go from car to car club. So the entire back seat of her car was just filled with cans of food. Um, that was great to hear. Um, she you know, took a bunch of pictures, and the parking lot was, was filled with people. And unlike the day before when it was gray and rainy and blustery, um, you know, this event that we had for the FBLA uh, was a pretty sunny afternoon and everybody looked like they were having a lot of fun. So um, I think the measure of the success of a trunk or treat event is not always in how many dollars raised, or in our case, cans of food, but did people have a good time? And it was evident from the photos and the accounts that I heard that they really did have a lot of fun yeah. the afternoon. Uh, some Maplewood firefighters happened to be driving by and they pulled in and they saw what was going on because they know what trunk or treat when they see one. And what they did was they then left and they came back with bags and bags full of candy, extra candy, so that they could just keep on going, you know, because more and more people were coming along. And before they left, they said, hey, let us know next year. Um, we'll donate some candy for you and then we'll also go up to Richmond Heights to the fire department there and we'll get them involved in it as well. So. FBLA is a club here on campus called Future Business Leaders of America and we are an organization where we learn about business topics. We also participate in community events like the Trunk or Treat or March of Dimes. Well, the call went out um, from the Weekend on Wheels Pantry and typically around this time of year the pantry gets kind of low on food and it's the holiday season and Thanksgiving is always a big important family time so we decided that we would participate I asked some of the students what they thought we should do and they said let's have a trunk or treat so we decided to um, get together on a Sunday afternoon and have a trunk or treat so that people could come and donate food items for the pantry and we could raise some awareness and then the kids could get candy and have fun we got probably four or five giant boxes full of food and we got things like stuffing mix, we got canned goods, we got um, cookies, all kinds of things. I know the back seat of my car and the trunk of my car were both full with a lot of items um, and I just think that any bit that we do to help is always appreciated. I actually dressed up like Mickey Mouse and I decorated my trunk like Mickey Mouse as well and I think the kids were kind of freaked out when they heard me speak in my Mickey Mouse voice so sure. I'm hoping I'm hoping it will um, we already talked to the Maplewood Fire Department and they want to join us next year they're gonna challenge the Richmond Heights Police Department or the Richmond Heights Fire Department to join us as well so that we can get more exposure and the ultimate goal would be to get more food for the Weekend on Wheels Pantry.